Good morning. We are starting a road trip today. We are crossing the island of Flores over the next eight to 10 days. Today we are leaving Labuan Bajo and heading to Rutang. Along the way, well, we're gonna stop at places like this. Malo Show Village. off, what is it? Malo Village. The Malo name. Village, this is to Malo Village? Yeah. All right, let me quickly, since we're here, introduce Cipri. Cipri is our driver down below for all of his detailed information. He is going to uh, take us on this epic journey across the island of Flores, which is deceptively large. Flores is something like 13,000 kilometers. Uh, but again, just a small part of that today. With little stops like this, we'll see it's typically a four hour journey between La Bajo and Rutang, but we'll see again, it might be a little slower for us as we are a family. But anytime we have a chance to stop, pull over, we'll show you the sights. That way when you come and do this journey, you can get an idea of what it's like to do so with kids. But already you can, it's opening up to a gorgeous view. All right, when we get to Rutang, we're going to walk around town. There are some nearby spiderweb rice fields that we'll check out. There's also a traditional village. Pineapple, pineapple. Oh, look at that. Yum. Yeah, there you go. Cool, exploring nature with little pineapples. This is a beautiful stop. Any chance you can get like this to stretch your legs is really good for the kids so that way no one's just getting sort of motion sickness. We're moving from ocean uh, up into the mountains so we're going to be traversing all of these hills and you get a little seasick in there so if there's a chance to stop, I you know for us it's always worth it. To come up here for the viewpoint, it's gorgeous, absolutely worth stopping. Again, you get the kids out of the car for a few minutes. You can't ask for a better deal than that. All right, so back into the car, I wanted to point out one amazing feature that Cipri has in terms of family support. So he has a car seat. If we have not come across somebody with a car seat in all of our Indonesia travel. So this is fantastic. Again, it goes back to Cipri and how uh, awesome he is with family and kids and setting up. Oh, and we like seeing that as well. <laughs> What's wrong, boy? Okay, well, before he starts breaking down, I just wanted to point out that that's a great feature. Okay, so uh, we are about halfway to Rutang, and Sibri has stopped at this lunch spot, so we're gonna check it out. Right now the kids are sleeping, so I'm just gonna run in. I'll also do the food order. So let's see, welcome to Singo Cafe. We've got pigs. So it's a cute place, right? They got the, the bamboo boardwalk. I like all the little uh, decorative pieces here with the tires. All right, the Singo, that's it. Singo Cafe. All right, so you walk in. Wow, oh man, look at this place. So it's totally international. You got the old stars and stripes. <laughs> All the way around. So simply good choice. This place is great. We're gonna do takeaway. So we've got all the typical options. So we'll do uh, the nasi goreng and the, uh, the the rice dish, of course, and the mee goreng. And let's see if I can stick my head back in the kitchen here. Uh, Permisi, hello. Welcome. Hello, thank you. Oh, hello. I like Welcome. you. Got, yeah, so I got the whole family working here. <laughs> and are you cooking now the mee yeah. goreng? Yeah, nasi goreng. Nasi, nasi goreng. goreng. Nasi goreng. Oh man, so fresh peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Smells really good. You got the cabbage, yeah, spices, <laughs> and it's all good. And who's this little girl? Hello, Pagi. No, not Pagi. Siang. Siang. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, it's all just done, sort of, uh, just right out of the old uh, homemade kitchen. Yeah. Awesome, what a space. So I'm sure the food's gonna be delicious. I'll step out of their hair, maybe come back when he's frying up more stuff. So simply, how far are we from Rutang? Around one, one and a half hour. Okay, so about an hour and a half. Around two hours. Out, so we're about halfway, are we? Yeah, yeah. Halfway, so from Long, Bajo. from Lama, thank you, Lama Bajo to Rutang, Rutang. Yeah. this cafe is your halfway point. It's a great restaurant stop. Uh, this food smells delicious, so. Uh, I can't wait to kind of check it out, but I love how, it, I mean, totally uh, international themed. Cipri, how long have you been a driver? Uh, so on tourism, 
Yeah, tourism. On the tourism, like around 16 or 18 years now. Okay, yeah. awesome. So a really long time, lots of experience. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'll come this way so the light's a little better. There <laughs> we go. And so how has uh, tourism been with COVID? Not great, maybe. For the moment you mean? Or yeah, yeah, right park? now. Uh, it's really bad. Really bad. Yeah. That's yeah. And then in, in the past, though, you'd be so much busier. Yeah, yeah. Before this uh, pandemic, yeah, mm -hmm. you get uh, a lot of work on the tourism. Right. Yeah. And right now, it's just not not yeah. as good. So. It's really I, bad. You know, just the fact that we're here and able to uh, connect has been is really great. And yeah. and Cipri's going to be with us for our entire road trip. And I think we're going to to cross uh, Flores. What's the average number of days to to drive across Flores that people take? This around. Uh, six or seven days. Okay, yeah. six, seven days. We've yeah. got the kids, so maybe we'll go a little yeah, slower. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Uh, but um, I like that Cipri is uh, a wealth of knowledge. So, he, I mean, he knows this place. He can give recommendations on hotels to stay at, sites to see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you yeah, want, absolutely. like, on the beaten path or yeah. off the beaten path, uh, Cipri's the man. So, again, I'm going to leave all of his information down below. Uh, take a look. So when you come to Flores, uh, this is the guy you want to hire. He's great and it smells like the food is almost ready. All right, so Augustino uh, is just asking about the spice level. So he's totally willing to tailor the spiciness of the food. And what do we have here? This is uh, Kopi Flores. Flores Coffee. Yeah. Excellent. And so all the beans are from Flores. Yes. Wow, this is my first Flores coffee experience. And this is the Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, oh, so. Who, who so you do this yeah I, wow I and, my wife. and so you and your wife make the ground the coffee beans yes oh that's awesome yeah. and i can see so here's like uh that's the coffee bean yeah this is a coffee bean excellent and this one is uh beetle nut uh and beetle nut yeah. wow and grind, 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 and then this is the coffee? Yeah, this is the coffee. All right, my first, I, I kind of feel bad Kelly's in the car, but uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to indulge a little in the coffee. Yeah, sorry, sorry. And then, uh... Wow, that's pretty dark. Okay, so... Maybe you bring the... Uh, uh, Red sugar. Oh no! I, I take my coffee black. No oh, sugar. Yeah. No need. No need. Actually, I have a special sugar. Brown sugar. It's like a brown sugar. Like oh, okay. All right. So I'll try the coffee uh, black as I normally take it, and then I'll add a little of the sugar. Flores coffee. Ooh. That's a kick. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the afternoon. When I'm up at like midnight, I'm gonna come bang and I'm still, yeah, I'm coming back. Welcome to Flores. Yeah, welcome to Flores. Boo! Oh man, that's great. And um, boy, it's almost. How do you describe that flavor? It's without any sugar added. It just has a that that like a sweet nutty flavor. Um, that's good. That's good coffee. So I will add, uh, he said this is special, special sugar. And um, you know, a lot of these villages in Indonesia, they, they produce their own sugar. So maybe I can get a little more detail about, uh, about the sugar, but it's definitely, has like a, how do you describe that one? It's definitely different than like what I would picture as like a U.S. brown sugar where you go to the grocery store and buy it. It does, this smells totally different. So uh, yeah, we'll add that to the coffee, but I'll have Kelly try the black coffee. So she's gonna, oh, here she comes now. But this is, uh, this is nice. And we didn't order this. So uh, he, he just brought this out as kind of a, a compliment and a welcome to Flores uh, coffee. So again very friendly the fact that he welcomed us into his kitchen met his wife his his daughters uh yeah this is great so Kel, uh, uh Pac brought us uh flores coffee and i was gonna do the whole thing but i thought that would not be cool <laughs> oh there's another one all right wow. i was gonna share my one cup yeah nice yeah perfect yeah. teramakashi teramakashi this is from here yeah it's just from uh flores nice. 
And is it from this area? Or does yeah, it come this from is the from, the, from this area. He does the beans. Oh, yeah, okay, so you roast them and crush them. Oh, very cool. <laughs> yeah. All by hand. Yeah, yeah. So very strong. Yeah, this is for the <laughs> exercises. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> good muscles. Sugar. The, the sugar. Is that the this palm? Is palm sugar, yeah. So oh. I use the, the palm sugar here. And the palm sugar is from here as well? Yeah. From here as well. Yeah. I can't wait. All right, so while Kelly tries that, I'm going to go for adding a little sugar. I tasted it black just to okay, kind of get the yeah. true flavor. Looks nice and dark. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> a good cup of coffee. What else needs to be said? All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna dig in. This is some of the palm sugar. Mm. I guess I can use the spoon to stir it. Yeah, I'll know. add a little more. Yeah, I'm gonna do the spoon. I'll yeah, the spoon and then we'll out. put it over. Yeah. Okay. So typically I drink my coffee black, but uh, the fact that it's local sugar, give it a try. Okay. So with the palm sugar, I think it's good. I'm gonna go this way better light. So adding the palm sugar definitely complements that kind of a uh, nutty sweet flavor of the coffee already. Yeah. So pretty good. Yeah. All right. Well, cheers. Coffee and I'm, cheers. Loving, I'm loving these coffee cups. Coffee happy life. Excellent. <laughs> and it smells delicious in here, that homemade food. Okay. So I just got the word from Kelly. The kids are all awake. So we're going to pull an audible and eat here. So they're walking down the little, uh, bamboo trail now it looks like they're serving up our food and the more I sit here the more I really love this place because you look at the chairs and at first glance it's a chair but I really what I think this is I think this is a filter of some sort converted into a chair and then here's just like a drum of something also converted into a chair all right guys just grab seats and they're gonna bring our food right out perfect timing okay so we got the uh not the nasi, the uh, mi goreng. Mi goreng. Mi goreng. All right. Terimakashi. Sama-sama. And in comes the nasi goreng, which looks great. A little eggplant on top. Give it a try for you. Oh, I love the fried egg on top. Going for just the rice. Switch to the spoon. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it tastes like uh, just good nasi goreng. So uh, nice seasonings, mild on the spice, just right. All right, so just outside of Chara Village uh, is the access point to the spiderweb rice fields that you'll see uh, so many pictures of on Instagram and all over. And hello, and this is a private, uh, kind of a private property. So to get to this trail, you'll have to pay something like 10,000 each. Um, but there, no one was down there. Maybe it was that guy, but no one was down there when we uh, first pulled up. So we'll uh, kind of touch base and see what it costs afterward. Uh, yeah, I bet that's the guy. But either way, we'll do it on the way back down. Uh, but I'm excited to check out these viewpoints of these spaghetti rice fields up ahead. Oh, this trail, a lot of switchbacks, but you do get to see all types of bamboo growing, which is really nice. Just an example of that view. We're not quite, not quite to the top yet. And it's already getting pretty. I definitely hear some voices up ahead. So it sounds like a bunch of kids are up here. So we'll see if we can find them. Hey, right, buddy. So below are an example of these spiderweb fields. And this is unique to Flores. And each one of these plots is owned by somebody in the village. Basically, they've done this spiderweb shaping to mark off plots to say uh, who owns what. And what's interesting is a lot of the traditional housing that you'll see when you drive through these villages have this same sort of dome appearance where the middle's up. And like if a chieftain were to come out here and, and bless the field or do a ceremony, their spot would be right in the center of those spiderweb fields. And much like in the house where they've got that same shape uh, as, a, as a cone, if you can imagine that, uh, that's where the chieftain would be. So a very uh, interesting approach to subdividing out the fields for all the different people who own the plots. 
and it's gorgeous up here. This is uh, well worth the uh, very little 10,000 uh, rupee donation to access the fields. And on this side, of course, you've got a representation of basically the, the village, which this is actually fairly large. Come here, buddy. Say hello. All right, so that was um, totally worth the viewpoint. I thought it gave me a really good visual of the spider web uh, fields. And now uh, we were supposed to pay beforehand, but no one was here. So, hello, how are you? Okay, well, let's see. So, this is a little travel log. <laughs> All right, yeah. bye, Tamagashi. Yeah, sama sama, Mr. Mr. Raka. Bye. All right, so everyone's so sweet. Welcome to the hotel that's operated by nuns. We are at the Santa Maria Covent here in Rutang. And at this point, it's very pretty. We just pulled in. And we'll see about getting a room. Uh, let's see if you can find, I think the front desk is this way. Uh, maybe me and Forrest will go get the details on the room. You wanna come with me? You wanna come? No, no? okay, well, just me then. So, check in here with the blue awning, the main desk, and uh, let's see what the rooms are all about. Hello, how are you? Time to... Good. All right, so we're gonna check in, and we found out, so you've got um, two, two rooms. Yeah, you've got, two rooms. Um, so a, number nine and two. Okay, can I go have a look at them? Yeah. Okay, I'll go take a look. They're this way, yeah? yeah. Okay. So number nine, oh, right, right here, how convenient. So this is an example of the triple room. So we'll probably take this room plus, um, Another, okay, all right. So a very basic room, shower, you get the idea. And it's owned by and operated by nuns. That's amazing. So she said number 10 as well. Let's see if I can, uh, oh no, she said two. All right, so let's go right here with this open door. Number two, so this is an example of just two single beds. Again, very basic. They got, uh, of course, Jesus on the cross as your kind of wall hangings. And let's see, bathroom. Yes. Just a real simple, real simple stay. I think it's gonna be perfect for us. Ah, what's your name? Say, hey, Salamat. Salamat, Salamat. 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 What is your name? Come on, let's go. Okay, so my other deductions are happening. So 700,000 for the two rooms. That's like five, uh, Five total beds. Five of you. Yeah, yeah. Well. Welcome to Rutang on the island of Flores, Indonesia. And the reason we're here, so we are beginning a road trip across Flores. And in order to get into Bajwa, the next regions over, you have to stop in Rutang to get a COVID test. So even though we're on the same island, there is a, uh, uh, pardon me, Parisi, there is a COVID uh, requirement in order to cross Regencies. And what's interesting to me, just being here in Rutang, is kind of the hustle and bustle. So very different than Bali, in my opinion, where Rutang is based here mostly on local commerce, and Bali is more obviously like tourism. So this is just this hustle and bustle of town. Now it is a weekend, so Rutang is a fairly large city, and it supports all of the uh, kind of satellite little towns and villages outside of Rutang. So on the weekend, everything basically shuts down and everybody comes into town and does all their market shopping, their clothes shopping. So there is definitely a hustle and a bustle feel to Rutang that I just didn't get when we were in Bali, which is so much more dependent on tourism. Even crossing the street here is uh, a lot busier than we've experienced. Just walking through town here. Hello. Hello, Poggy! Yeah. Oh, so sweet. That's not quite Poggy. But anyway, we get the idea is that there's just all these little shops, kind of all these little nooks. So we're going to, once we get these uh, COVID tests done, we will head over and grab some lunch here, but I don't think we're gonna stay a second night. Um, even though, oh, it looks like I'm walking to a dead end. I'll go this way. So even though it's about noon, I think we're still gonna push on uh, but a lot of times, pre-pandemic, 
people would bypass uh, this town. And I think there's just so much to do here uh, in terms of uh, restaurants and just being around the people and seeing all the sights. That really things I think, worth stopping in at least for a night if you want a shorter drive out of La Bon Bajo. Go this way. Hey, Pac, how you doing? Right, so I'll head back over, get my COVID test done, and then we'll go this way. We'll grab some lunch. Oh, speaking of uh, transport and getting from district to district, regency to regency, these are kind of like, I guess you call them public buses. So you can hop on one of these. This will be a very inexpensive way to travel from regency to regency, but the problem is you spend a lot of time waiting. So you have to uh, wait for your bus to fill up before you go inexpensive if i can find out the prices i'll add that right now you can also rent scooters but of course we're with a private driver just being with the kids obviously scooters are out and the idea of like sitting on a packed bus with a two-year-old throwing a baby fit no way and again here's like they're just loading up who knows maybe mattresses on top maybe bags but this is sort of the uh the way it looks you got lots of restaurants lots of shops and just a busy area all right, so COVID test, then lunch. COVID test, yay, we're all negative. It's the test you definitely want to fail. And now it's lunchtime. So we're walking around our routine here and we come across this guy right here. And he is just smoking up some saute. Like definitely chicken. It smells good. So we're going to check out the saute restaurant, which is right in here. Hello. Hello. Let me see. <laughs> Huggy. And we are right here. All right, so Cipri's here. He's got the menu. He's helping us uh, translate. Let's go nasi ayam, nasi saute ayam. Yeah, yeah. So nasi saute goat. Coming, yeah. Coming. Coming. Okay. <laughs> All right, that sounds good. Okay, so we just put in the order. It's going to be great food. I'm going to go outside and actually see if I can't get a little film of uh, uh, the Pac uh, grilling the saute. And it's just around the corner here. And that's just like smoky heaven. Ooh. Hey, Pac, can I do a picture? Yeah. Picture? Yeah, you don't mind? Yeah. Excellent. So, man, that's just made to order. So, I, if you could only smell this, but Rutang's a great city. Again, a lot of people bypass it just on the way uh, to Bajua. Yeah. But for me, it's totally worth a stop. Not only did we enjoy uh, the hotel stay with the nuns, just kind of walking around town, it just feels so alive with people and the hustle and bustle that you just you come to love when you travel in, in this region of the world. And then to come and get a delicious saute from uh, Pac here. And here's like all the fresh meat coming out. This is probably our order here, actually. So you've got the chicken. You've got the chicken and the goat. So uh, Pac's gonna make that taste delicious, I'm sure. So I'll let Pac get to work and <laughs> stop making him feel like nervous about my putting the camera in his face but uh, the food's looking delicious. Okay, so they just brought out our satés, and I'm starting with the lamb saute, and they're all just these little bite size. Comes with rice, they brought us actually some complimentary soup, and Cheater's going to town on the chicken. How's the chicken? Good. Delicious? Nice. All right, let's see the lamb go. Mm. Outstanding. It's actually really mild uh, peanut sauce on that. So the star though is that charcoal flavor. That's really what shines through in all the meats here. So what a feast. We're gonna finish this off uh, probably really quickly because it's so good. Uh, but this is uh, definitely a stop to consider. I got again the sign, um, the window sign for uh, the location for you. Okay, that meal was absolutely delicious. Exactly what we needed after walking around town, uh, getting COVID tests, like satays where it's at. So the bill, let's see, they just brought it. Okay, the bill's gonna be 102,000 rupees. So again, that's like about seven bucks. I'll put that right here. Okay, thank, thank you, you Termagashi. All right, so just outside the restaurant, this is uh, what I walk into. So these, uh, Nice people on the motorbike just said that their little boy wanted to meet Forrest. Forrest, look at Forrest, cheese. 
<laughs> That's your new buddy? <laughs> so just these like sweet people I say oh they stop and may we please introduce our son to your son oh yeah so great so beautiful look at that that is just uh that's what I mean but that was just the cutest little guys hey uh buddy buddy huggy you see hi that easy that easy just to make friends Okay, so everyone's so friendly, like that guy in the motorcycle just stopped at where you're from. I mean, just really sweet questions. Yeah. Telling us about how much he uh, likes that we're here, visiting Flores. But when you walk around Flores, there are a number of spots to visit in town. So it's not, again, just a pass through. Um, but right here, for example, is I think the oldest church in Rutang. Rutang, sure. yeah. So the Rutang Old Church. There's a little sign. It says like 19, what? 19? 20. Okay, so this church, 1920, I believe, is the oldest church uh, here in uh, the city, and it's really pretty. Yeah, so again, you can spend your day, uh, if you need like a rest day, just walking around the town. Hello! I'm fine. How are you? Yeah. Good? Nice to meet you. You're making a video. Yeah, yeah, for YouTube. Oh, yeah, where are you from? Uh, America. America. Oh, yeah, nice yeah. To meet you yeah, you too. What's your name? Uh, I am Fermin. Fermin, Fermin. Jonathan. Nice yes. to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. All right. Good. Where, where do you come from? Uh, today? Yes. We spent the night here. We're from Labuan Bajo. Yes. Yeah, Labuan Bajo. We started. Oh, so now we go across the uh, yeah. Get on a taxi or? Yeah, we have taxi. Oh. Yeah. Yes. And then where do you sleep? Uh, we slept at the monastery, the covenants, the church, the nuns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the nuns. And how about nice. your program tomorrow? So, just keep going east. Yeah? Yeah, we drive east across Flores. Flores. Yeah, across. Uh, there is a guide. Yeah. Who can help you? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, Father. Yes. See ya. Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we love. Thank you. So, examples like that, right? Again, super sweet guy, just very curious. <laughs> Got to be a bit mindful on these sidewalks. But anyway, we've, we've run into that so many times. We're just total strangers. We'll stop and be very curious and very friendly about about you. And that's what I, I don't know. To me, I enjoy those kind of things. So I hope you enjoyed this look into Rutang. I know the video was a little choppy, but you know, such is life with kids. All right, we will see you next time.